Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's the first time you came here. I'm going to talk about my fitness journey that I went through last year after I had my first daughter. She was about six months old when I decided to start the gym. I started August 11th of 2017, which was last August. Uh, I weighed about 175 and I'm five foot like seven ish. <laughs> I was feeling sluggish and I was going through some type of like depression thing so I I thought the gym might help me in the long run to you know make me feel better and lose some weight obviously and I wasn't like I wasn't feeling myself I haven't I've did fitness things for a while like I never really did sports but I did insanity in high school and I did like I went to I tried to go to the gym during high school but it didn't really work out so so insanity was the only program that I did and it was with the school so, and I really enjoyed that what I like to do more is lift weights, and that's just because that's just what I like. When I started the fitness journey last year, I was walking for a few weeks before I actually started the gym, but it wasn't like consistent, so I don't really count that. Like, I was just walking a lot more than usual. The first month that I started, I was running a whole bunch because I knew that running would make me sweat and running would burn the fat off of a lot of things. I was running at a 5.0 at first. I would walk and then I would run, like I would warm up by walking and then running and then I would walk again. So the total of like around 20, 21 minutes-ish because the program that was on the treadmill, that's kind of like what it was doing, it would go up and then go back down. After that I would go on the floor exercises, like on the mats and do floor exercises. I would do, you know, anything that come, came to mind. I was Pinteresting everything, I was Googling everything. like. Um, I would do three sets of everything, so I would do like squats, then so push-ups or sit-ups, wall sit-ups, like I would just do anything that I could find and I would do it. And after the treadmill I was usually pretty sweaty and then this, these floor exercises would make me a lot sweatier. So I'd, I'd spend about another 20 minutes there on the floor doing just random things. After that, then I would go to the work outside and lift weights. At first I was just doing whatever machine or whatever I was feeling like doing and then I would kind of take a break from it for a few days and go back on it again. But then after a while I really started going, doing specific days like arm day, leg day, shoulder day, ab day, and then cardio day. But I was going every day for about like weeks at a time, like nine days straight and then I would take a break. Or six days straight and I would take a break or like sometimes it would be seven or eight days then I would take a rest day like because I just really was committed <laughs> to the gym after the first 21 days my goal was to get to 21 days and I only didn't go to the gym twice out of those 21 days and then after I felt like it was a habit it got a lot easier after I would work out you know my the weight part I would go back on the treadmill to cool down which was another Sometimes 10, sometimes 15, sometimes 20 minutes, depending on how long I wanted to stay on the treadmill. But I'd do the same thing. I'd walk, I'd run, I'd walk. I'd run for as long as I can, just to see like how you know how much I could run for. Because my goal was for you know at first it was only like three minutes I wanted to run, and then five, and then at one point I ran 18 minutes straight, and I was so proud of myself. It wasn't even funny, <laughs> but I was drenched in sweat. But that was. For me, being drenched in sweat is the goal. Like, you can't not like sweating, like, because that's the whole point. Me, if I wasn't sweating, I wasn't working hard enough. That's what I felt like. My goal was to lose fat, and I needed to sweat to lose that fat, and gain muscle, which came after. So, the first three months, that's pretty much what I did almost every day, and then I'd shower after my workout. Uh, so, the total workout would be like an hour and a half, which I thought was pretty decent because I felt like that's what I needed. <laughs> After a few weeks the burning in my legs and the burning everywhere stopped as much because you know like you can only burn so much fat and then it gets harder. So that's what I did. I weighed myself every few days and I should have measured myself because that's what really made the difference. The weight, yeah I lost a lot of weight in three months but I also lost a lot of inches that I didn't uh, record which I did this time I did all my measurements I'll put the video in at the end to show you guys what my measurements are and how much how much it is so then I can always look back and I took the four pictures which I will insert at the end too 
I lost 25 pounds in the first three months. So at the end of November, I was 150. After, at this point, I I got pregnant. I lost a few more pounds, but I I blame that on pregnancy because I had lost of appetite and I I was full so fast and I felt sick, so I wasn't eating as much calories as usual. And I was drinking a lot more water, so I lost a lot. I already drank a lot of water to begin with, but then I drank even more. So I went down from 175 to 150, and I felt I was felt in great shape at that point. I felt everything stronger. I felt like everything was like I started running at the end of that at a 7.0. I kept going up. I went from 5 to 5.5 to 6 to 6.5. Then I got to 7, and I was just amazed. And if I were to go back to like if I would try to go down at that point, it was just too slow. Like I just wanted to run. So that was good. During pregnancy, I stayed up with the routine at first. I didn't run as much because I was starting to get out of breath after a while. So I just did incline instead of how fast I was going. So I was still burning lot of, lots of calories on incline, which I really enjoy incline walking because it's really tough. <laughs> That is what I did my pregnancy. I only gained 30 pounds, and that was great. Well, during pregnancy, I just kept going lower and lower and lower on the weights and on everything. I stopped going as much to the gym, so, but I still kept in shape. I still tried to go for walks, but it was kind of winter time at this point. I am on my six week wait. I'm six weeks postpartum in two days, but I'm starting the gym today because it's a Monday, and I feel like two days isn't gonna be a big deal. I get my checkup appointment on Thursday, and I mean, I'm, I feel fine. I did a little mini home workout two days ago, and I'm a little bit sore from that, but I just did like just floor exercises just to see how much I could do, and I mean, I'm way lower than I what I was like when it comes to, you know, being out of breath. I'm obviously more out of breath, and this six weeks, I've noticed that after like the fourth week of not going to the gym or doing that much exercise, I was losing motivation to go and that just felt horrible. Now that I'm almost there and back at the gym, I'm getting so excited to go today, later on, and you know, get all sweaty and do my normal routine. I mean, not as heavy as weights at first, but I mean, I'll, I'll go back up. So yeah, that's what I did, and that's how I lost a lot of weight at first, and I'm hoping it'll happen again. After two kids, I just don't want to feel like I can't do anything. For me, it's all in the mind. I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I'm also starting my diet today, kind of, or tomorrow, like this week. We're trying to figure out ways to eat healthier for this week. And like for, you know, we want a meal plan, me and my boyfriend, and we want to lose weight from food because that's our biggest struggle is the food part. I mean, I didn't eat that well last time and I still lost a lot of weight, but I still wanna like, you know, feel healthy. That's all I got for this, I guess. That's kind of my story. So, uh, I'll insert the clip for me measuring myself and tell you guys the measurements. That sounds creepy. Yeah. Yeah. And I weighed myself at the gym this morning, and I'm 161, so same weight that I was when I gave birth to my son a week later, so it's not too bad. So in the past five weeks, uh, 
I lost like two pounds and gained it back. Insert the pictures here of my before pictures. And then every month I will put take new pictures and new measurements once a month. But I'll update you guys once a week on what I did and how I ate and stuff. And yeah. Alright. I hope you click that like and subscribe button to follow me on my fitness journey. And if you, you know, if you want to follow my mommy journey, well, that's my other videos too. Yeah, this series is just on fitness. But I will still be making vlogs and other videos too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys subscribe. Anyways, bye!